Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds, and I cannot bring him back. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire Pardon. shall fall. Are you my gal? Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it... Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Seriously, what's the message? By wait, was it more? I'm wrong on all. Ha! No, but more to because that's crazy. You do. <sighs> oh, pardon me. Bored. I mean, really. Now that's the. So, on um, you have to find the way out first. Care to take a look around? Well, now, the web attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, the end is 
the taxi takes on himself can be seen here. here. We are uh, They're always uh, carried out. Here we go. The self loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Oh. Ah, but his confidence is shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terror easy to repel, but persistent. Something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. <sighs> oh, good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a second. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver? Well, I never get that part. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned from a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. Yeah. And we're that much closer to home. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while well, I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage! Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's do a headshot. As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll oh, just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta ta!